Okay, guys, now for the bulk account creator, um, what we need to do is we need to, first of all, I'm going to add some proxies in here. So what I'm going to do just quickly, I'll cover this one more time so that if you're using Squid Proxies, which is what I use, you know exactly how to do it. When I log into Squid Proxies in the private proxies section, I come over to where it says authorized IPs. And I can see here my IP is has a 119116 at the end. You can see it's not in here, okay? Now, if I try to um, create um, accounts with proxies when I haven't got my assigned IP authorized in here, um, then it's not going to work, okay? And I'm just going to get a lot of failure. So what I need to do is always check the authorized IPs in here. Make sure that your current IP is existing in here has been approved in here has been authorized in here sorry okay before you go and start creating accounts usually any account creation issues comes from proxies it's always a proxy issue 90 percent of the time um it's a proxy issue in fact it's about 99 percent of the time okay so once we've done that what we do is we click on here to get assigned proxies come down we're going to grab these proxies here and we're going to copy these and we're going to come into um, the software click on where it says proxies right click here paste you can see it will expand automatically add the items and because we have just authorized that IP if I click start checking proxies now I'm gonna get a lot of red the reason for that is we haven't given it time to propagate yet okay so we're going to do something for a couple of minutes and come back in a couple of minutes and this will be mostly green so in the meantime what we can do is we can look at the accounts that we create okay so in here, you can see that we are creating four different um, websites, sharing websites, Dailymotion, Vio.com, Vimeo.com, and Break.com. Okay. Um, you can add some more accounts as well. What you need to do to add more accounts is come out of the account creator and come up to the one, the tab that says Video Sent Alpha. Okay. When you're in Video Sent Alpha, you need to be in the section that says Accounts. When you're in the section that says Accounts, in the Video Sent Alpha tab, you click on add and you can see down here um, it's got a section to add accounts so it's always going to pull in automatically your Dailymotion, your Vio, Vimeo and Break.com because the account creator creates those for you it adds them into the profiles as you choose to use them okay and what we do here for the other ones for YouTube you can add them manually so you can buy some PVA accounts um, on Fiverr.com for example or you can just add your own manually in here and it will add those um, accounts in here okay and same for Flickr and Photobucket we cannot create accounts with the account creator for these three um, we're just going to have a very very high um, rate of um, not success okay just we're not successfully going to be able to create those accounts which is going to waste time captures and proxies and stuff like that and you're just going to get frustrated there's no point for us to try and make this work any other way except for what we will do is we will try and get some more video sharing sites in here and plus, we are making our own video sharing site network, like the PBN for um, sharing sites, okay, all in Class C postings. Okay, so that's how we add more accounts in here. Um, but as you can see here, look, in here I've got, what, 190 accounts in here. Okay, that's just one profile. I've got 190 accounts. I can tell you that took me about 30 minutes, okay. We can, you can see here we've got VOVimeoBreak.com, VOVimeoBreak.com. Even Daily Motion wasn't working at that time. And then daily motion we got working again and we added a whole bunch more so um you know if i go and start a new project which we'll cover in the next video um then i will be able to go and create huge amounts of um you know accounts very very quickly and be able to upload videos very very quickly you know within an hour i could have massive amounts of link wheels link wheeling link wheels and things like that it's just crazy crazy syndication um opportunities in here and options in here Okay, so we know how to create the accounts, we know how to add them manually. Uh, so let's look at the bulk account creator. And before that, let's jump back into the proxies and we can start checking the proxies again. And you can see it's started to propagate now and we're starting to get a whole bunch of green in here. Okay, so that's all looking good so far. Leave these ones because they will propagate, just need an extra minute or two, probably. So come over to the account creator. We choose bulk account creator. Make sure the top one is checkboxed uh, or radio button create emails and accounts take this down I don't actually use any time delay in between creating the accounts because it's so fast so easy to do it I don't care if I lose some I'm working a numbers game here guys I'm using video sharing site link wheels to link wheel my YouTube link wheels okay it's very very effective I don't care about 
you know, 100% success rate. I'm just working on numbers. I got 190 accounts within 30 minutes before. That's more than enough because if I have 10 um, URLs in my YouTube link wheel, okay, that's that's 10 um, spoke link wheel using YouTube channels. If I've got 10 of them, that's a 19 spoke link wheel from sharing sites link wheeling my YouTube link wheel URL, each one of them, okay? So that's 10 times 19 spoke link wheels link wheeling. Um, each URL within the YouTube link row if you got 10 there. You can see how powerful it is. We don't need to be 100% perfect, but we do need to get the job done. We need to be able to move forward quickly, easily, and uh, be able to take action and just get this stuff done. So we're making it as quickly and as quick and easy as possible to do that and as painless as possible to do that as well. So what I can do here is I can set this account creation to any number I want. I can make this, you know, um, 900 or 10, you know, you know, one, we can even make it 100 and just do 100 at a time, okay, and come back. It will probably take about an hour, an hour and a half to do that many. Um, but once it's done, it's done. You can go and have dinner, come back, and you're going to have 100 profiles there. Whether it's 100% or not, it doesn't matter. You're going to have hundreds of accounts, you know, literally hundreds of accounts that you can, um, done in sharing sites that you can use, okay. Now, the big question at this point always is, um, you know, what about footprints? What about the duplicate videos? Do we have to create a hundred videos for all these? No, you don't. You don't, you don't. What happens when you're uploading a video in between every single upload, doesn't matter if you're doing YouTube link wheels or video sharing site link wheels, what is happening is the software will change the bite size of the video. Even if you're using just one video for all of these accounts, in between every upload, it's going to change the size of the video. Plus, you have spinning in the video as well. But I will talk about that when we actually do the demo of uploading videos and the strategy stuff, okay? But I'm just cover that quickly right now. So what I'm gonna do, just for quickness, I'm gonna create three accounts in here um, with the bulk account creator because I don't want this video to go on um, much longer. It's gone on quite long enough already. So what I'm going to do now is create the profile and basically we just wait for this to create the emails and start adding these accounts in here. Okay, so you can see. Let's bring this down. You can see the new ones being created already. Okay, that's the one we created before. Daily motion failing in this one. For some reason, daily motion is failing with the proxies. I need to get my quota to look at that. I should have that fixed pretty quickly. So we got three new profiles created, and now it's creating the accounts within the profiles. And, you know, even if I'm only getting three of these, I'm, I don't care if I go away. You can see how fast this is. If I go away and come back in an hour, I'm going to have hundreds, I mean literally hundreds of sharing site accounts that I can upload one video with very, very good spinning in the titles and descriptions and, and the keyword tags. And every single one of those videos will look unique. It doesn't look like duplicate. It doesn't look like duplicate content. It looks like unique videos, every single one of them. Okay. Uh, so that's really, really unique. SEO strategies that we have built in here so that we can do that. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to pause this for a second and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, one thing about the account creation guys, I just had to restart the software there because um, it was actually going to do the email verification right from the very beginning from um, a way up here. Um, what we need to do at that point is we just click on force stop bulk creator, just click on it there. It will stop, give it a second or two in fact, give it a minute or two and just come back after that's been done. And then we can come back and verify um, from this point down, just check box these three and, and start from this point down and it will verify those. So we can just basically click on that and it will go and start um, connecting to the email server. You can check down here, this one says monsed158 and here monsed158, so it's gonna start verifying in here. Um, best thing to do actually is when you've got all of these, what you can do is you can just check box them and you can click on the save button here and you can save them on a folder in your desktop really really simply okay all you need to do is click on here to save choose the account name that you want to save so I'm going to put on three test accounts whatever um, from video whatever um, and basically save that in there and I know that those three accounts have been saved in there that way you can delete them and pull them back in any time to pull them back in any time you just click on open, find your accounts, and just click on open. It will pull them in exactly as they were 
um, before you save them okay that way you can always keep fresh you can always work with fresh profiles etc as well which I'm going to talk about in just a second okay let me just click on this one um, because it's not doing it automatically for some reason no, I don't want to stop the current creation I want to start it let's go into that email now yeah okay so what we can do as well is once we have got these accounts created now imagine I've got all of these and I can check boxes okay and I can basically assign these to any um, profile that I want when I come up to the video send alpha let me just go back and do this one here quickly when I come back up to the video send alpha here you can see that I've got the account section in here I click on the account section and you can see I've got an import button here and you can see that I've already got 190 accounts in here okay what I want to do perhaps is to create a new project so just click on create a new project and let's call this video send alpha training preview something like that click on add okay you can see that I do not have any accounts in here so when I highlight that you can see I've got no accounts but I'm in the accounts tab I can click on import from here I can select all okay and you can see there's 106 profiles this is not accounts this is profiles each profile has four accounts up to four accounts okay so got to scroll down here um, let me just see what's going on here import yeah just import click on the import I was looking for another button down there for some reason and you can see I've got now 337 accounts in here you see how powerful this is you don't need to pull in all 337 you can go and save them on your hard drive and bring them back in whenever you need and cut them down just chop them up and split them up into different um, accounts okay you can see how powerful this is getting this is massive this is a massive massive um, software for us for video SEO I'm telling you this is such a powerful powerful tool um, that we have got here in our hands for video SEO all right so that's it for this video that's the account creation the bulk um, account creation that's how we assign projects this is how we add massive power into video syndication and how we can do it in just a few clicks with not a lot of work being done at all and when you want to go and add a video you can just add even add even one video one and it will do it every single time it will just change your bite size as long as you put in here to spin your title spin your description spin your keywords choose your video and it will go and do crazy crazy SEO stuff in the background with very very little work okay I'll see you in the next video